to my channel. Hello, patrons. All right, so this video reading today is uh, messages from your higher self. Are you on the correct career path? So messages from you uh, and your intuitive. So you have three options to choose from. I'm gonna put crystals on top of the options. Three options to choose from. Before I get into which option is which, thank you patrons for being patrons. <laughs> thank you uh, subs on YouTube if you're watching this uh, from YouTube. Uh, thank you so much. Um, if you're brand new, hit the sub button as well as the bell notification. I drop videos weekly. Also, um, if you're not a patron of mine, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below for the information on that. Exclusive giveaways just for my patrons. As well as uh, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching consultation, walk-in reading, same day um, video reading, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. All right, without further ado, you have three options. <laughs> options. You have three options to choose from. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I totally butchered that, you all. Redo. You have three options to choose from. This is going to be option number one: green amethyst. You can't really tell in this light. But amethyst, option number two, uh, clear quartz, and option number three, we have sapphire. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may, they may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. And yeah, um, choose which option you feel you are closely resonating to and then come back for your reading when you're ready. Let's get into it with option number one. So we're going to put these to the side. All right, Amethyst, option number one. Are you on the correct career path according to your higher self? We have the King of Wands that came out in the upright. We have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you're embarking um, on your career journey, on something new. This also feels like a second career path for you, option number one. We have the Magician card that came out in the upright. And then we have the Ten of Cups that came out in the upright. Thus far from these cards, not only are you on your correct path, option number one, but you are very passionate about this career endeavor that you've decided to take on. Definitely what I'm getting from the cards is that, yeah, this isn't your first go round, um, like in career. I feel like this is a, uh, a second career that you're going into, option number one. It's definitely something you're very passionate about. I'm also getting, I feel like for some of you choosing this, um, not that you had people that weren't supportive or that were skeptical, just maybe they didn't support you as excitedly as you would have liked them to. More so because, you know, people may have not seen anyone do this before. So let's get more messages. Spirit guides of those who chose option number one. Are they on the correct career path? I'm seeing you are seeking out education or, or continued information about this career path. Or maybe this is a career path where you have to be continuously educated. Those who chose option number one, are they on their correct career path? Option number one, are they on their correct career path? Oh, look, not only is this your correct career path, according to your higher self, this is going to lead to longevity. I feel like you're your most creative. For some of you, you may be an artist. Option number one, are they on their correct career path? You have the Queen of Swords that came out in the reverse. And then we have the Four of Pentacles that came out in the upright. Three of Cups that came out in the reverse. I feel like this takes you away from friends a lot. Like you focus a lot on work. This is definitely a, a career path where it's a passion of yours. You've decided to, you know, take a leap of faith, make the different changes. Uh, for some of you, you could be, you know, an independent artist of some sort, an entrepreneur. But according to your spirit guides, or well, not just your spirit guides, but to your higher self, this is most definitely the correct career path for you. So we have Judgment that came out in the reverse. We have the Hanged Man that came out in the upright. And we have the Devil card that came out in the reverse. 
So what I'm getting with these three cards is that sometimes you do have your doubts and this career path working out and I largely feel like you're embarking on something where you're working from yourself that's what I'm getting with that one like there's those doubts that come in but at the same time you, you're able to silence those doubts because you, you you're shown you, you're able to show yourself through physical examples and evidence that clearly not only is this the career path for you but you're able to find success in this path as well that's what I'm getting with that all right, option number one, you all let me know how you thought about that in the comment section below. Give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. And check the pin comment below for Patreon and private readings. And let's move on to option number two. Three quarts. Option number two. According to your higher self, are you following your correct career path? Let's find out. You have the justice card that came out in reverse. Automatically, I feel like for those of you who chose deck number two, you may be doing something that your parents or others expect of you to do. Something that makes sense, you know, um, maybe this family business or maybe, you know, you um, majored in college in something that was practical, but it's not what you want to do. I'm getting with this uh, justice in reverse that maybe there's not that much contentment. Yeah, look at that. Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is something where I kind of feel like you settled a little bit. Once again, this isn't something that you would have wanted to do as a career, but it's something that you ended up doing as a career. And though you may make money from it, it's not bringing you the most happiness. Look at that moon card in reverse. We have the Six of Wands in the upright. So with the moon card in reverse and then the Six of Wands in the upright, what I'm getting is... You know, once again, this is something that you're not your most content, but you do well at it. You know, this is a skill that you've mastered. Uh, this is a career path where you excel and you're celebrated. And then we have these seven of wands that came out in the reverse. I feel like you fight off trying to, you know, pack up and leave. This could just be the company that you work with at present. You know, maybe you don't want to be at this particular place anymore. So you're like fighting off, you know, the urge to like just let go and leave. However, though, um, according to your higher self, are you on your correct career path? Thus far, I'm getting to know you're not happy. Like, yeah, you're earning, but you're not happy. Yeah, you're exalted, but you're not happy. And I'm not getting that this was your original choice, deck number two in career path. Like it, it was chosen for you. So let's see what else. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. Look what I tell you. You're not fully invested in this career path. This was something that was chosen for you. Deck number, um, keep saying deck. Option number two. It was chosen for you and it's just something you're good at. I feel like this is a very technical degree or technical career path. Um, like, I feel like those of you, some, some, some of you that are watching this, you're more artsy and that's kind of where it's like, I wish I could do my life in this. We have the two of wands that came out in the reverse. We have the four of cups that came out in the reverse. You don't want to ignore these feelings of discontentment anymore. But I'm not seeing you rush out and take action on it. Like this is something where it's like if you did embark on another career path, it would have to take a lot of preparation. It would have to take, you know, a lot of convincing to yourself. Because lucratively, the career path that you're on, you know, you earn well however though you're not your most happy here so it's like you have to pretty much you know decide do i take the chance go into the unknown chase after happiness and the comfortability that i have um in knowing you know in knowing that i'm safe this is a safe career or do i stay where i am work what i need to work in the, in the time that i'm putting into it and then remove myself and try to cultivate happiness outside of work part-time. That's what I'm getting with that. All right, option number two. You all let me know how you thought about that in the comment section below. Give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe if you feel compelled to. And what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, if you want to become a patron, if you're not watching this on Patreon. Or if you'd like to book a private uh, reading of any sort, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. Same day reads are also available. And let's get into our last option. Option number three. 
spirit guides of those who chose option number three, are you on your uh, correct career path? Ooh, you feel conflicted. That's a definite fighting card to come out with. Five of Wands that came out in the upright. You feel conflicted. Some of you, you're in the midst of, of potentially quitting your job. Like, you, you're, it's like, I feel like you're fighting against, you know, practicality and dreams. Kind of like option number two. You're fighting against money and happiness. But you can have both. You know that, right? We have the Page of Cups. Yeah, you're looking for new, for new work. But for some of you, you've left a job or an industry and now you're seeking out something brand new but you still need to gather more knowledge about it that's what i'm getting with that one look at that you still need to gather more knowledge about it so you're gonna for some of you you've kind of gone off to seek out this this knowledge whether it's through certification whether it's just kind of you know very lightly and studying things you know even perusing google and youtube but you're ready to definitely move forward um this feels like another option where you know things it's a safe bet to stay where you are, but it's not a happy or a comfortable one for you all who chose option number three. Like you have more than just discontentment that you're dealing with option number three. Like there seems to be some type of pushback in your work environment as well. So yeah, I'm getting with that one. We have the seven of pentacles that came out in the upright, but you've invested so much. The bulk of your knowledge lies in this current career that you're, you know, that you're in. So that's where the conflict comes from too. But I'm also picking up very strongly, like you have conflict in this workplace. And then look, 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 did, did I just say it? Seven of swords in the reverse. Yeah, this is, not only are you wearing a mask and you're tired of wearing a mask, but you feel like those around you that you work with wearing a, are wearing a mask also. Like this is not a fun situation. Deck number two or deck number um, three, option number three. You don't really trust those around you. You're not very close to those around you either. Very interesting that you have seven of pentacles and the seven of swords right next to each other. Seven to seven. Yeah, you don't feel very trusting of the environment that you're in. For some of you, you don't feel very trusting in embarking in a new career and what you want because you feel like, will it give me, you know, the same investment? It's time for you to pull out your investments. That's why I'm getting with that one. Let's see, why do my cards look crooked on the camera? Let's see what else came out. We have the Empress that came out in the upright. We have the Five of Pentacles that came out in the upright. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you definitely keep this to yourself. I feel like um, if you have a significant other, you tell them about your dissatisfaction like they know. I'm hearing like stand up to a boss. Like for some of you, you need to be direct and, and stand up to someone who's been, you know, making some disparaging comments about you in your work environment or even bullying. Like that's messed up. Um, definitely, once again, this is about you're invested in your career path, but you're not happy. You feel like an outsider in your own environment. And I'm not seeing you very, you know communicative with those around you with the knight of swords in reverse like you just you're very disconnected like you go to your place of business do your job and you go like it's you are specifically there to do the job that you you know that you signed up for or just to make money and then go home but you're not happy but you're conflicted in regards to will i take this leap but you've started to look into it though you know into other prospects so I definitely feel like you will eventually. You just have to convince yourself more. And I feel like for you to convince yourself more, you need to gather more information. And that's what you're doing with this hermit card right here. So eventually you will move forward. I don't see you being stuck in um, any unhappy situations. Option number two, I don't see you, you know, just kind of, you know, dealing with it or sucking it up and, and making it stick type of stuff. But at the same time, um, You've been, I feel like you've been dealing with the situation for quite some time. Definitely does feel like that. Yeah, and it's been time for a change for those of you who chose deck, um, option number three. Especially with these conflicts. This isn't just inner conflict. This is conflict in a workplace. And uh-uh, uh-uh, nah. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm getting with that. All right, option number three. Thank you all so much for viewing this reading um give this video a like comment share subscribe 
And if you'd like to become a patron or book a private reading um, or another private service or same day service, same day readings, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. All right, beautiful people, peace and blessings. Goodbye.